Hi friends, come let us see about air handling unit in the HVAC system. You can see a picture of AHU and the general arrangement of the AHU, one above below. What is AHU? Where it is used? How it will benefit us first air handling unit. In the picture, you can see door mounted AHU unit is shown. So, what are the parts in the AHU? Filter will be there, which is used to filter the air before the air get entered into the AHU. There is unit skin casing. The outer body of the AHU is called unit skin casing. Heating and cooling elements. If you refer to the general arrangement drawing, number three coil is the cooling or heating element. Next, humidifier. Whenever we need to add any humidity to the air, humidifier will be used. Somewhere, if the humidity to be removed from the air, dehumidifier will be used. So, mixing chamber. So, air mixing chamber will be that fresh air and return air will get mixed and then it will be get through the filter. Next, blower or fan will be used. That is the area where the chilled air will be pushed into the ducting elements so that it will reach out the air conditioned requirement area. So, heat recovery device is also used in the AHU. Controls mean that the electrical control, dampers, all the control is involved. Let us see what are the specification we need to check for AHU. First, thickness of the enclosure, framework and base material to be checked, chilled water coil material, tube thickness, tube dia, header material, pins thickness and per inch quantity to be pre-filter and fine filter, make and its efficiency, make of the fan and motor, motor type and the ratings, number of row coil selection, fan selection, efficiency of motor and fan, supplier damper material, noise level and BMS compatibility, tonnage, CFM, unit model, fan dia, RPM, length, width, height of AHU, weight, delivery, time and warranty to be checked. So, supply and testing and commissioning of AHU. So, these are the basic parameters which we need to cross check in the specification of the AHU. While placing order, these parameters to be confirmed. In the AHU types, we are seeing only the general type. In detail, we will see in the next video about EC fan plug fan. Now I am giving about the general details about AHU type. There are two types of fan which is draw through fan and blow through fan. Draw through fan pulls the air through the mixing box, filters, cooling coil before discharging it from the fan outlet. Blow through fan blows the air through the mixing box, filter, cooling coil before discharging them to the space. What is DIDW and SISW fan? Double inlet, double width centrifugal fan gives the same pressure rise and has the advantage of smaller overall footprint and only one motor is required pressure rise but double the flow of single inlet, single width fan. We saw the specification of the AHU, what are the things to be checked and we saw what is the two different type of AHU fan and now we are going to see how a typical AHU unit chill water pipe connection will be. So AHU as I informed earlier it is a air handling unit. PICV is a pressure independent control valve. PH is a thermometer. PG is a pressure gauge. BFV is a butterfly valve. OST is the voice strainer. Always the voice strainer has to be installed in the supply line towards AHU. So any dust particle, any waste material, it will get collected in the voice strainer. Before it reaching into the coil, it will be collected and the coil will be protected. Any sharp edges getting into the coil might damage the coil. That is the reason voice strainer is used. Though it is a closed circuit, day by day, when the chiller is keep running, there should not be any particles which is inside the pipe should damage the coil. That is the reason why strainer is used and they will remove the waste strainer then and then and they will clear the accumulated dust material. And if you see butterfly wall will be used. So in the drawing, if you see clearly, you can able to understand the drain wall will be provided. If you want to drain the water, that wall can be opened and it can be drained out. So similarly, thermometer will be used for measuring the temperature. Pressure gauge will be used to maintain the pressure or to check the pressure. So, pressure independent control valve, it will control the pressure depends upon the requirement. There are few terms we need to understand on HVC. There is a quite common question which is used in the AHU part. What is a blower and what is a fan? Fan have a blades that helps to increase the continuous air flow and circulate the air around in every direction. Whereas a blower has impeller that channel the air in a specific direction towards the location. So what is a static pressure? Static pressure is the resistance to air flow, which is a friction caused by the air moving through the duct or pipe 
or any hood slots, air control dampers, louvers, etc. Static pressure is rated inches water gauge. What is the difference between dynamic and dynamic pressure and static pressure? Static pressure is the pressure that air would press against equally in all direction. Dynamic pressure is the pressure of the fluid that results from its motion. It is the difference between the total pressure and the static pressure. You can see here, this is the side view of a HO with chilled water pipe in and out and ducting fresh air exhaust and ducting fresh air supply air and return air is connected so you can refer to the number mentioned in the picture chilled water in is a insulated pipe chilled water out is a insulated pipe and volume control damper which is used to maintain the volume of the air going to the con going to the conditioned area next duct sensor will be used that is a supplier duct and return air duct fresh air duct then access panel with limit switch will be there and drain pipe which will be insulated thank you for watching the video hope you like the video please subscribe like comment and share thank you